What's up, everyone? It's me, Pastor Steve. Well, you might have noticed I'm wearing one of these. It's a name tag. Sometimes we wear these at church, or we wear them in places where we don't know someone's name yet, but we want to get to know them. Did you know that God actually has a name? Most of us just call God, God, which is kind of a title. But actually, in the Bible, we're told what God's name is. Do you want to know what it is? Well, let's find out. So God actually gives Moses his name. He says, my name is, well, in the Hebrew, it would have been Yohei Vodhe. And that would be like the English letters Y H W H. And we are actually not sure how to pronounce this because the people of, of God, the Israelites, thought this name was so special and holy because it's God's name that they would actually not say it out loud. So whenever it appears in, in the Bible, they would use, they would say, Lord, instead. So whenever you see in the Bible, uh, especially in the Old Testament, whenever you see Lord in all capital letters, that doesn't actually say Lord in the Hebrew. It says this, Yohei Vodhe, which some people think uh, is pronounced this way, Yahweh. We're not entirely sure how to pronounce it, but we do know what it means. And what Yohei Vodhe means is, I am who I am. What's in a name? Did you know that names often mean things? Especially in the Bible, people are given special names all the time. And God's name, even though we're not really sure how to pronounce it, we know that it means this. Now, it's a special name because it means that God always is. I am who I am. He has always been. Uh, no one made God. And God is always here with us. It's a very, very special name. But one of the cool things that we hear in scripture is that Jesus was given the name above every other name. And for any Jewish person, they would have known that the name above any other name would have been Yahweh. Well, Yohei Vodhe, I am that I am. And so we're told that Jesus is given this name above every other name. So at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. So Jesus is Yohevadhe, right? Isn't that cool? And so friends, we have a God who is so holy, a God who is here with us all the time. But we also know that we have a God who wants to get to know us. Maybe we've never actually met God. You know, that it would have been very hard for people to meet God. We thought of God as being invisible or somewhere in heaven. But we are told that God actually came down to earth to be in the flesh, to be with us. This is the kind of God that we worship, a very personal God, a God who wants to be your friend, a God who wants to get to know you, a God who is always with us. Maybe you've been wondering what's in a name for your name. Uh, maybe there's a reason why your parents named you what they did. For me, uh, I actually don't know why my parents named me Steve. For my kids, we named them what we did uh, just because we liked their names, the way it sounded. Uh, but if you wanted to ask your parents why they named you what they did, uh, that might be a fun conversation. Thank you so much for joining us today. So maybe 
you want to talk to God and you can just say, God, hi, it's me, Steve. And you can just share your heart. You can just say, what happened in your day? Or you can just say, God, I love you. <laughs> God, thank you for uh, this beautiful day. Whatever you want to say, we have a personal God who is here with us all the time. Let's pray. God, thank you for being such a personal God who wants to be our friend, who wanted us to get to know you through Jesus. And I pray that we can continue to get to know you and that we can know that you are a God who loves us, who wants to be friends with us and have a relationship with us. That's such good news, God. Thank you for that. And thank you for making us who we are. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. We hope you have a great week.